Welcome to Ballistic Advantage again. My name is Clint Hansen, and today, just real quick, we're going to show you how to install your sight tower into your FSB. Uh, so first, if you have any debris in there or anything, you know, just take your air hose and blow it out. We're all clear here. So you're going to first take your spring, drop it on in there. Then you're going to take your detent, put that in there as well. Okay, make sure that goes in there good. All right, now with, with the actual tower and your tool, now granted, it sits flush and it's meant to go in and press down the detent when you do it. However, if you, you know, have an aftermarket site or something you don't want to scratch up or get raw or anything, because you can scratch it just by doing it this way. So a little trick I would do is I just take something real sharp and thin and just push it down. Sorry. And then get it down to the depth I need to without scratching or messing with the detent. So I'm getting pretty close. And usually rule of thumb to get started with, you want the, your sight tower to actually be flush at the top of here for starters. And that's it. Now you don't have a big gouge on your detent. I know it's not really the biggest thing in the world, but a little trick. So there you go. Uh, first thing you're going to do, put your crush washer on and your flash rider on. And as you thread it, what I want you to do is brace the rest of your upper. And this is a good time to check your threads on either the muzzle device and or the barrel to make sure everything's going to be concentric and not be too loose as well. So as I eyeball it, I'm trying to give it a little wiggle, not get too much movement. And that, that makes me feel good about it. So I'm going to go on the rest of the way. All right, not going to have too much, too far to go. However, I still want to show you the technique, you know, that's going on with it. So you don't want to just, you know, be on here and go ahead and just tighten it on here. You want to brace it. So wherever you're turning, you want to keep that opposite force on the barrel. So you're not causing this barrel to swim around and do all this stuff here. So I only have to go a little bit, but I'm still going to brace it anyway. So my three quarter wrench is on the flash hider, hand goes on the opposite side, and now I go to clock it. Eyeball it with the rest of the upper. Need to go a little bit more. I'm going to come up above. Same rule applies. My hand's coming on this side, and then I'm just going a touch. Another thing to note if you've used your crush washer, um, you know, it's not the end of the world if you reuse it on another muzzle device, but it is a crush washer. So, technically, once you've used it once, that's it. So, that's about it for flash hiders. Thank you.